Could any of you, either from your planets or from the ship, open a portal here on Earth? Using the tractor beam, yes. But you'd need a tractor beam, don't you? And are those machines big? Are those portals like the ones in the Star Trek movie? It's hard to define the size of the portal, but yes, big as a house or bigger, because the ship is also big. Because they consume a lot of energy, right? The tractor beam machine, there are about eight of them on the ship, is the size of a sphere about three meters in diameter and takes up a whole room each. Yes, they consume lots and lots of power, several gigawatts. So you couldn't carry it in your pocket? Not that one. And something else. Imagine. Just imagine that you want to open a portal in my room. Here. What would be the procedure? What would you need? All of my coordinates, right? Detect the physical position of the room. Read the exact frequency inside the room. Assign the output frequency of the tractor beam. Focus it from orbit towards the physical position. Turn on the tractor beam. So the portal would be from your room to the tractor beam room aboard the ship. And one thing, would an energy node be created in my room? Yes, with its consequent energy flux, that would be detectable even with human instruments. Detectable from any Federation ship? Yes, their instruments would go off with an alarm that something is happening. So it wouldn't go unnoticed, would it? No, hardly. It's a lot of energy involved. Even the military on Earth would know. Nearby planes and ships, their compasses would point to your room. And they would come looking for me at my position, right? Yes, they would come and see what's going on. Because we created a new magnetic pole, at least detectable at close range. About a hundred kilometers around. Maybe a little more. <laughs> Is that what Yazzie does? Yes, but Yazzie seems to do that on purpose, because she also has technology to hide that, and she doesn't always apply it. Okay, so, about the artificial portals. No one can do that even if you have the technology, because you would endanger the humans involved. In my case... I would be in danger unless I would no longer return to Earth. But if I stay here, they would ask what happened. Yes, although we can do many things, it is not feasible for other reasons. But if it is to get you out of there, then you just need to get out and that's it, and let the humans and the Federation scratch their heads. But as you know, that's why you won't be able to go back there. Unless you want to spend the rest of your days in a doom under Wright Patterson Air Force Base, in a jar being studied. No, I prefer a ship with cats. One more thing, why is the frequency of my room so important? Does it depend so much on the frequency of the person? It is the very direction for the machine to know where to go or open the portal. The person changes the frequency of the area, but not much. You can do it without that factor. The computer differentiates. And another thing. Okay, you've opened a portal that, from my position, would be like a membrane or a mirage, right? Me? Yes. On several occasions. It's an example. What would you see? Yes, you would see it as a strange area like vertical water. The surface would reflect the inside of your room, but kind of distorted, and there would be a lot of magnetism and static electricity in the area. But you wouldn't be able to see or hear or smell anything until you crossed it, right? That's right. You have to enter the portal to see, but if the focus is even on more energy with more precision data, you would see the portal from your room and inside the interior of this ship in the tractor beam room. And from the ship, you would see the inside of your room. So if you were talking to Dor Kalel out loud, 
I wouldn't hear anything if I didn't go through that portal, would I? It depends on the strength of the portal, as I was saying. But that would be a lot of energy. Wow, okay, so I would see but not hear music, for example. If the portal is complete, complete bridge, yes. You could talk to somebody as if they were in the same room. Yes, you could. It consumes twice as much energy than when the portal has barrier, as in the case of the water membrane. But then, this node not being 100 kilometers, it would be 500 kilometers at least. For a portal that occupies hyperspace, the distance doesn't really matter. So it could be done from... Temer? I'm talking about 150 gigawatts of power, yes. That's a nuclear power plant. What's that equivalent to? The power consumption of a city? No, not even if you put all the nuclear power plants on Earth together. You need zero-point reactor for that. No, that's like the total power consumption of the whole of Europe for a year or more. You would need all the power plants on Earth together to create one of those portals where you would see everything as if it was an added room on the ship. Okay, wow. But then the regressives on Earth, they have that energy? That's why they have problems with the CERN. It's not enough for them, so they start looking at how to do the same thing with less energy. And they only come up with crap. Now, a spacecraft engine like this consumes about 7.5 TeV of energy. 150 gigawatts is nothing. TeV is trillions of watts. So what the tractor beam takes up in energy is nothing. It's lighting a light bulb. Okay, and the antennas on your ship, they are super long, aren't they? What is the diameter of the antennas at the thickest part? About 12 meters at the base. That's not exact though, I would have to check it in detail. In itself, it's a container with sensors of all kinds. It's not an antenna itself. At the top there is a long antenna, about 20 or 30 meters long, that is an antenna. It contains optical lenses pointing downwards and all kinds of gadgets to detect everything that surrounds the ship. The lenses are two meters in diameter with a zoom lens that can read a small print of a newspaper from orbit. So you would obviously detect any energy nodes opening up on Earth and quickly report them to Federation Command and Control, right? You can observe an anthill from orbit, yes? Just as they would detect something made by us of the same nature. Could you see the ants, their legs and antenna? Depends on the ant, I guess. The last time I used it was to read the license plate of a submarine at periscope depth. It was submerged in murky water and I was still able to optically read the license plate, name and plate classified. Can ship sensors see inside of houses? Not directly without objects. We use other things for that. We use energetic mapping of the place as of a building. That is to say that the sensors know the frequencies of all the matter in the building. And the computer interprets the data with a base it already had. And with that, it processes and formulates an image. And that is what we see as an ultra-detailed hologram. We see the dooms with that as well. And a question, Annika. Does this technology evolve much more, or as it is now, no changes or tweaks are needed? It has reached such a degree of perfection that we don't see how to evolve it anymore. Until Yasuhi arrived. And another thing. You could also insert, as we said, 3D objects in my room. Yes, or anywhere, or subtract. Would those objects create energy nodes? Yes, they create the nodes. Detectable? Not as strongly as a portal, of course, but they do give signals. For example, you would create a wall clock for me. Would it emit a detectable energy and they would come to see what is going on? 
Yes, because it is detectable. It would create a magnetic point represented by the color red here. It's just an example to use something graphic, but yes, a magnetic gravitational disturbance appears on a map. That's why the points in or on the Earth would appear. It is detected very easily. Originally in Spanish, between 2019-2020. Questions from the live in Robert's channel, in which Anneka participated answering questions from the live chat. If opening a portal in your room would trigger the alarm and they would come looking for you, what happens when the ETs abduct someone using the tractor beam? and taking samples in Wuhan? Alarms are also set off. The difference is that one is without authorization from the United Federation of Planets, the other, the one in Wuhan, was with their consent, and even with a flight plan. Both cases trigger the alarm. Is it possible to open a portal from Temer or any point in the universe to Earth without a ship? In theory, yes. The limit is knowing the destination frequency, and that can be difficult. You need to be very precise with the numbers of the destination address. It is not usually done, but it can be done. Does the Federation notice when a starseed travels in the astral, as well as when someone wants to use a portal? Yes, they are very likely to notice, because they have a lot of technology, but sometimes they don't notice when someone uses a portal, because many people, races do it and it is a lot of traffic. As for astral travel, it is much more difficult for them to detect. Yes, it is possible for them to notice, but usually not, because the frequency of each soul in the astral not only varies a lot, but it changes as a person wants it to. Does the physical body have to be energetically prepared physically to be picked up by the beam? Tractor beam? It is not necessary. Anyone at any time can use a portal made by a tractor beam. Are the muon neutrinos described correctly in terrestrial physical science, or are they wrong in their description? Their human description is wrong. On Earth, with human science, you can only see 60% of its qualities as an energetic entity, particle, wave of energy, both at the same time, just like light is, wave and photon at the same time. What races have time travel capabilities? Any interstellar race that manages manipulation of its frequencies in their ships has the time travel capability. Since, technically speaking, when a ship enters hyperspace, it is essentially time travel. Same principle. It takes as much work for a ship to go from point A to point B in the same timeline as it does from side A to side B of another timeline i.e. time travel. The problem is not being able to technically time travel, but the moral and ethical implications of doing so. And that does require a lot of training, and not everyone is allowed to do it. That is why it is kept at something exclusive to the elite sand clock squads. When a natural portal is activated, does it also trigger tracking alarms? Yes, just remember that if it is natural, it has an infinite range of strength, size, and amount of energy. Only portals that are large, or of a certain strength or energy, are monitored or detected. Natural portals can be dangerous to use if they are not well known. If I wanted to travel to a past life, does the portal allow that? 
If the portal is well designed with the right data, yes, it could. And it has been done. It is quite common. How does the organic portal work? Organic portal is a person or an empty body that is used by one or more souls. It works because those souls are concordant in frequency with that of the physical body. Same frequency. They enter it because they wish to do so, just as if it their were own body. In itself, strictly speaking, every biological body is an organic portal for a soul, just that usually and ideally, it is only one soul who uses that body. It is not the same subject, even if the name portal is used. What does a human need to open a portal to move inside the planet? Is it possible? A machine is needed to make the portal. It is an electromagnetic energetic toroid or frequency controlled by the computer to change the frequency of everything that enters the machine to the frequency of the destination. Is that why, before you get paralyzed in your sleep, you feel static? Yes, it can be because of that. Being paralyzed, sleep paralysis, abduction, yes. They use mainly tractor beam based portals. Is our sun a portal? Yes, it is a portal, like all suns. It is exit entrance. Black holes are only entrances. The openings are the sunspots. Can humans open a portal involuntarily? How can we open a portal at will? If you have a lot of control over your energy in a very high frequency, it is possible to open a portal by going into a trance. Few do, but it is not impossible. What happens if I enter a portal? Here in Peña de Bernal, Mexico, they say there is a big portal. Yes, I confirm. Great portal in Peña de Bernal, Mexico. A team from here was recently measuring it. Peña de Bernal, apparently, that was a giant tree. Is it possible to enter a portal in a dream and be aware of it? Yes, especially in a lucid dream. It can be done. It is actually how it is done also from 3D. It is how you can try practicing lucid dreaming. What sensations do you experience when you are inside a portal? Sometimes just static, sometimes nothing. You don't feel anything, just a little dizziness, as some people have reported. How are the extraterrestrials taking their star seeds? By tractor beam or by other means? Portals? Only by direct permission of those star seeds. Sometimes by pre incarnation agreements, either by portal or tractor beam, or when they disincarnate. But the most usual way to take the star seed is with their full permission and with previous planning. They're taken by ship, meeting them in special places. They walk up to the ship with their bags and backpacks to go home. This is mostly for the most awakened and the ones with direct contact. When you sleep and dream, do you open a natural portal to another density or place? You could say that you open a portal to the astral as a rhetorical sense, but rather it is a change of density of your soul and perception. What are the riskiest places to be found in a natural portal? They can appear anywhere at any time. That's the problem with them. That's why they're dangerous, and that's why stories abound of people suddenly being somewhere else. 
Examples of dangerous natural portals are the Bermuda Triangle and the Dragon Triangle in Asia. Do you know the Uri Torco area in Argentina? Is it an area with portals? Yes, we know it, and I confirm that it is full of portals. Besides, it has a dune below at a depth of 10 kilometers. Do the spiral shaped petroglyphs indicate a portal in that area? Yes, they do. Proximity of portal. If time is not the same in 3D as in 5D, what time would I travel to if I enter a portal? To the time of the destination and how it works in the destination, depending on the frequency of that destination. Can a natural Earth portal be closed by someone, terrestrial or non-terrestrial? Yes, it can be closed. They're closed by imposing, with a tractor beam, from another frequency in destructive range to the frequency of the natural portal in question. Yes, they can be closed artificially if you have a tractor beam. Does telepathy work between people on different sides of the portal? Yes. Telepathy works across all planes, dimensions, portals, and distance does not affect it. Some races, like the Humites, do say that distance weakens their telepathy. That is their perception. Other races, like the Tigatins, among others, have no distance limit for their telepathy. Since telepathy is something that does not depend on the physical plane, it is something astral, and therefore, it reaches everywhere equally. Thank you very much. Many hugs and much love and affection to all. Aneka of Temer.